when I started to put God first is when my life started to change. McPherson Park, my name is Sister Sonia, and I was born and raised here in Philadelphia, in the heart of the hood, on Allegheny, and in every hood that you can think of. But um, I'm going to start praying first, I'm going to say a prayer, and then I'm going to share my testimony with you. So dear Heavenly Father, we come to you in the name of Jesus, Father God, lifting you up because you're worthy of it all, Father God. Lord Jesus, I'm lifting up McPherson Park to you, Father God, and all and everyone that is broken today, Father God. Lord Jesus, I pray, Father God, that you would intercede, Lord Jesus, that you would touch their hearts, Father God, that there will be transformation in here, Father God. Lord Jesus, that the lives will be changed, Father God, and transformed in you, Father God. Lord, we are here, Father God, to love on them because you asked of us to do this, Father God. So we're stepping out in obedience to you, Father God, and we are doing what you, what you have called us to do, Father God. So, Lord Jesus, I pray, Father God, that you will show us your glory, God. I pray, Father God, for mir miracles, healings, deliverance, Father God, over this park, Father God, over the lives of those, Father God, that think that there is no hope, Father God. Lord Jesus, I pray, God, that... Lord, that whatever is done here, Father God, in this park, Father God, that people's lives, that people's mind and people's heart will never forget, Lord Jesus, that you died for us on the cross, Father God, Lord Jesus. And we thank you for what you've done for us at the cross, Father God. Your body that was broken for us and your blood that was shed for us, for the world, Father God. Lord, I was once a wreck as well, Father God, and you gave me hope, Father God. You brought me back, Father God, to life, Father God. So, Lord Jesus, I'm praying over this, over the people, Lord Jesus, that are broken, Lord, that think, Lord Jesus, that they have no way out, Father God. So we rebuke the enemy right now, Father God, because he has no control, Father God. You do, Father God. So, Lord, we ask, Lord, that you will continue to be the center of our lives, Father God, and that you will continue to give us the direction that we need, Lord Jesus, which is your way, Father God. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. So, again, my name is Sister Sonia, and um, I've had a rough life. Um, I didn't do the drugs, but, yes, I was out there. Besides drugs, there's other addictions in life. I was out there in the bars, I was hanging out, I was uh, hanging out with my friends, drinking, chilling, thinking that, you know, I had the world in my hand. But little did I know, one thing, I lost it all. I was married, for a certain amount of years I had my children, and I lost everything. I lost my family. I was homeless, and I call myself homeless because I was living in other people's houses. And that was because I was disobedient, and I was doing what I wanted to do. But the Lord doesn't want that for us. The Lord wants us to look to Him, to depend on Him. And some of us are walking around thinking that we got the world in our hand, and we don't. We don't have the world in our hand. That's how we're out here lost we lost it all i lost it all you know we lose our family you lose your home you lose your job you lose everything and the enemy comes and has a field day right along and he talks in your ear and he puts in your head that you're never going to change the lord is never going to forgive you but that's a lie from the devil because that's what he wants you to believe right and that's what i was believing at one time I was believing that, you know what, I'm still, I'm still young and I'm going to do what I want and as I want. Not thinking that, guess what, I was heading a dead end. A dead end because I thought I had it like that. Because I had a job, I, I was doing good, you know, nothing was going to change that. But when I lost it, guess what, I didn't have nobody, I didn't have no friends. I only had a sister, a sister that was there for me, that was praying for me day and night, a mother that prayed for me day and night because I wanted to do things my way. My kids would stay with my family because I still wanted to do what I wanted to do. My husband, he went with his family. He was doing the same thing. 
But it wasn't until one day when I heard some bad news about my daughter being touched by a family member that I thought would never hurt my child. You know? And that's when the Lord came into my heart because I didn't want that for my child. That happened to me when I was younger. I was abused and I was doing things that I wasn't supposed to be doing, that I had no reason doing, period. My mom and my family, they prayed to the Lord. They were walking with God. And I was raised in the church. But because you're raised in the church, that doesn't mean that you're walking with God. That doesn't mean that, doesn't mean that you believe in God. That doesn't mean that, you walk, that your walk is, is real. So my walk was not authentic. And I still kept doing what I wanted. But when I heard this about my child being abused, that changed my mind because the Lord came into my heart at that time and I saw the pain in my daughter and when I saw the pain in my daughter all I wanted to do was give revenge but the Lord at that moment calmed my heart because my mother prayed for me at that moment in time and he told me daughter just pray and so I started to pray and I decided Lord please help me Help me get through this, Father God, because, you know, when you hear that someone that you love has been hurt, all you want to do is hurt somebody as well. So if it wasn't for my parents, if it wasn't for my mother and my dear sister that prayed for me and talked to me and gave me the opportunity to say, you know what? to calm myself down and to know that, you know, that there is a God. If it wasn't for that, I would have been lost. I would have still been lost. But since that day, I grabbed my daughter and I prayed with my daughter and I told her, it's gonna be okay, you know? And I told them that I would never go out there and do what I wanted to do again because it's not about me. When you have children, when you have a life, it's not about you anymore. It's about your love, it's about your child, it's about your family, it's about God. And, but when I started to put God first, it's when my life started to change. Your life is gonna be all over the place if you don't have God. You have to put God first in order for you to move forward. But in the same token, of course, that pain that I had inside of me needed to be uh, uh, um, it needed to be fixed, but the only way that it was going to be fixed is through God. So when I gave my heart over to God is when I decided, you know what? Things, things are never going to be the same anymore because God changes your circumstances. Once you start to pray, once you start, start to believe in Him and have faith in Him and walk by faith and not by sight, things start to change in your life. And so we're out here loving on you. Loving on everyone that's out here. We're not here to judge nobody. We're here to love on you and let you know that there is hope out here. There is hope out here and the Lord loves you. He wants you as you are. Broken as you are. That's how he wants you. Because he's the one that's going to mold you. He's the one that's going to mend you. He's the one that's going to change your life. He's the one that's going to give you your miracle. Your healing, your deliverance is through Christ. And to let y'all know that he died for you on the cross. He died for you on the cross. He was the one that was broken for you on the cross and his blood was shed for everyone that's out here. Everyone. Those that are broken, those that are addicted, and it doesn't have to be drugs. It could be a lot of different addictions in your life. But that's the only way that you're gonna find your freedom. Your fulfillment is in Christ Jesus. That's how you're gonna get through your journey, your walk with Christ. Now, I can't change you but the Lord can. Through prayer, through worship, through gatherings, you can be saved because the Lord loves you as you are. And he is willing, he is willing to do for you. What he did for me, he will do for you. I gained everything back, triple, because the enemy is a liar. He comes to kill, steal, and destroy. He comes to take your peace. 
your joy. He comes to take all that from you. But the Lord, he's here to bless you. He's here to love on you. He's here to show you what real life is. God is good. Give him a chance. Give him a chance. And you're going to see the difference in your life when you accept Jesus in your life. Amen.